So the tea was we were supposed to land in St. Thomas around 3.30 going for 4. Didn't end up happening. We couldn't land due to weather conditions, the wind. So we had to fly 20 minutes to St. Croix, waited there another 50 minutes on the plane, and didn't land in St. Thomas till 5 o'clock. I'm ready for a pia colada. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving. And yeah, ready. Hey Nick Nation, it's your girl Jonique making it look unique and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I am in the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Thomas. I landed yesterday. I was too busy so I didn't get the time to finish off the vlog. But today, the itinerary is going to be beach. Anytime I come to my island, I have to hit the beach. It is a must. We are going to get breakfast um, and later on today, I'm supposed to pick up my costume. Yes, yeah, so I didn't tell you guys that I came down here for carnival. This will be my first time my first experience so you guys will experience it with me and later on tonight Michelle Montano's coming so you know I love me some soak music so it's gonna be a vibe so stay tuned give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and yeah just enjoy the vlog and enjoy my trip guys we just made it to Megan's Bay this is my first time from the top of the hills it resembles like a heart but wow it's just beautiful right now we're at Crown Bay Center we're going to go pick up our costume so I'm gonna bring you guys with us this is story time that happened when I went to pick up my costume. So they told us to be there at 7 p.m. for the fame section of the troupe. Being there, we didn't realize how much people there actually was. So I was hoping there was some organization and there was absolutely none. They were taking one person at a time and I didn't get my costume till 2.45 in the morning and end up missing Masha Montano's performance. Guys, tell me how we're just leaving now, right? We got here at 7. It is 2 a.m. and I just got my costume. Wait. Very upset, oh very unprofessional. Good morning, guys. So today's a new day. Today is Tuesday and we're gonna do some errands, run around. Right now we're gonna go find something to eat. It's a tea restaurant. So I'm gonna see what we can get from there and then try to go to the beach again today. I went with the stewed chicken, baked macaroni, rice, and peas, and my cousin did salmon, rice, and sweet potato. Just now finished doing my nails. I decided to go with pink because my costume is orange, pink, and it has some hints of blue. So to offset the bold orange color, I decided to do pink, and pink's my favorite color. So if you didn't know, um, pina coladas are my favorite. 
and I always have to get one when I get here just because there's no way you could go to the island and not get like a pina colada or a dark green I don't know and I like it virgin like when they be adding the rum not for me I feel like the rum kills it tomorrow's gonna be the food fair so stay tuned if you guys don't know this will be my first time um, and they're supposed to have like all types of food, like different food from all the locals and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. You know, your girl likes to eat. So I'll be front and center with my camera showing y'all exactly what I'm going to get from the food fair. Good morning. So today is Wednesday and it is the food fair day. Right now we're getting ready about to head out. I didn't eat nothing too heavy today just because I'll have enough room to eat. I'm going to try some different things and I'm going to show you guys, bring my camera and show you all the local things that we eat where I am from. So before we get in the car, I'm going to show you guys the outfit of the day. So this is the dress. I got it from Fashion Nova. I did get it in a size medium. Comment down below how y'all like this hair. It is different. I know y'all been seeing all them girls with them boho braids, but I wanted to do a boho bob just to stand out and be different. We made it to the food fair located at the Emancipation Garden. If you're looking for souvenirs like shirts, dresses, bags, cups, you name it, any souvenir, this is the perfect place to check out. Next time you're in town for St. Thomas Carnival, be sure to stop by the food fair. There's tons of different options ranging from pastries, desserts, fruits, vegetables, plants, hot sauces, and a lot of these things are naturally grown. There's also some stands that sell sandals, jewelry, apparel, and a lot of these items are handmade, so they are unique statement pieces that you're not going to find anywhere else. So what better way to support the community than to give back to these locals? I highly recommend that you stop by the pastry stands and try some sweet cuisines that are unique to the island of St. Thomas. I wanted to show you what I got from the food fair. So this is called Tom and Stew. And then I got a mango stew. I love mangoes, so I'm really excited to try this. And this is the last one. It is called Gooseberry Stew, also known as a cherry stew. Um, and this is what that looks like. So these are sweet. Good morning, good morning, vlog. It's currently 4:19. Um, getting ready for juve so it's a juve morning type of thing it's known for its water paint dancing um and things like that i will do like a get ready with me on tiktok and instagram so be sure to follow me at jote styles good morning y'all so today is juve morning i will be doing a get ready with me so being that it's gonna have paint water powder and stuff like that i was thinking to wear this top with these shorts this is what it looks like i don't know if i should wear it like around my waist like this this is cool too like you know it's like on you or you don't have to worry about like your waist is free so get into it it's too early but I'm gonna pack my stuff. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I got my turban on to protect my hair. I did my eyebrows, so at least something can give. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it's gonna be a lot of content and I hope you guys just enjoy it. You can see the sun starting to come up. Um, it's 5.30 and we still haven't left yet, but we are on our way. And this is just beautiful. God, God, God made man. Man made money. God made woman to eat man.
At this point, I was hot as hell, and I had my little personal fan, so it definitely came in handy. We got St. Kitts, we got St. Lucia, but do we have the Virgin Islands? Today is April 28th. I am going to be going to the children's parade. This will be a great experience. Tomorrow is parade day for us adults, so stay tuned for that. And later on tonight, I'm going to the village to see Shensia. I know last night y'all saw me go to the village and I saw Adamo. He did an amazing job. I loved his performance. But yeah, that's pretty much what the day is going to consist of. Um, you can see my tan. I went to Juve and Look at this. Like, make it make sense. It's been hot, child. Super hot for no reason. This is my outfit of the day for the children parade. So I got this top from Shein, bottoms from Shein, and I paired it with these white shoes from Fashion Nova.
another one of my favorite performances. These girls killed it. Give it a round of applause for them. This is a very technical dance. To be holding your balance while dancing and doing choreography, they nailed it. Rising Stars Orchestra. <laughs> are the Muku Jumbi. So Muku means healer in Central Africa and Jumbi is a ghost or spirit. So it originated from West African tradition which was brought to the Caribbean islands. These are dancers that dance on wooden stilts. <laughs> This was my favorite part of the parade. They did an amazing job collectively. They came with the energy, the choreography, the tricks. Give it up to the children. They definitely put on a show. moments later guys this is the outfit of the day so um i just paired it with some trousers it's island night jamaican night caribbean night so i decided to go with these pants that i got from pretty little thing they just go great with the vibe that is for tonight <laughs> was your favorite are you rocking with number one number two or number three number two did a great job she worked the stage gracefully but number three definitely took it for me she's the whining queen waistline sick and no competition <laughs> This will be my first time, our first experience, because I'm bringing y'all on the road with me, yes. So I got my costume. I did put a little behind the scenes of what it looks like, but today you guys will see everything. You'll see me getting ready, putting on my costume, doing my makeup, going down the road, yes. 
Today's the big day. Right now it is 9.44 and we're supposed to be there at 11. Nowhere near close. I love to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade in the color dark brown. Okay guys, this is the finished product. I think I did really good. Um, I haven't done my makeup in a long time, so yeah, it looks cute. We actually got here around 2.30 and we still had to wait another 30-40 minutes for the parade to actually start. We had two bands and there was like 1,800 of us in this troop. So it was really big and it took a little while to start. beautiful in their costumes and I love how each one of them were very colorful and unique. At this point in the parade your girl was tired my feet was killing me and I was so ready to go home. But I had to sum up all my energy and finish strong. And your girl made it on TV. If you'd like to see me, hit the link down below to see your girl on the big screen. <laughs> guys i made it back safely today was amazing it was fun i had a really fun time a lot of walking my feet were killing me but all the costumes were so beautiful i do recommend if you are going to do the parade to hydrate yourself it's very important especially with you walking the long distance that we had to walk and with the sun it definitely can take a toll on you now guys that concludes the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe i hope you enjoyed carnival weekend with me i had a blast and i would definitely do it again you got to see the inside scoop of my island and learn a little bit about our culture if you're interested in more videos like this stay tuned for more <laughs>